Hey, what's up, movie fans, horror fans? I am here with a review of Happy Death Day. Uh, wow. Christopher Landon, he's known for writing, uh, I think, the last four or five of the Paranormal Activities, Disturbia. Uh, here he makes this feature-length film, uh, directing as well, um, Happy Death Day. Imagine Groundhog Day meets Mean Girls. Mean in all capitals. M-E-A-N. Because, wow, uh, Jessica uh, Loth, I believe, uh, she plays the lead character who, she's kind of a, a you-know-what. The B word, if you will. I'm trying not to curse in my videos because I don't want to offend anybody, but she is mean, mean, mean. She's part of this clicky sorority and, you know, hoity-toity. They have everything handed to them. And if someone holds the door for them, they don't care. Like, ugh, you're in my space. It wouldn't be a thank you. That's the kind of type of people these people are. That was kind of like a pickle pecker picker pro Anyway, so the gist of the movie is she wakes up. Uh, she's in a stranger's bed. What happened? This guy is, she's in her, you know, she's in his room. She does that slut walk kind of thing, the... The, the shy thing, that they're going through the courtyard, people are looking, people are staring. Well, cut to various things, including the sorority girls uh, being the witches with a B. All this stuff, meeting up with her uh, boyfriend. Uh, cut to her getting murdered. Wake up, the alarm's going off, and it all starts over again. And then it happens again and again and again. Eventually, she's got to realize... That she needs to make better choices and, you know, and fix this so she can get out of this loop. Uh, it basically is Groundhog's Day meets Mean Girls. It, in the most literal, simple sense, that's what the movie is. Um, <laughs> but at least Bill Murray's character in Groundhog's Day, like, even though he was a jerk, he had redeeming qualities to him. He was a jerk. But, man, she just seems like she's way more of a jerk than than Bill Murray's character. But um you know, it wasn't a terrible movie. It wasn't um I I like the idea. I like the premise. I appreciate horror films. But I don't know. Some of the things are just so happenstance and just so like ugh, man. It, it's a level above a sci-fi movie channel quality thing for sure it is. But man like locally I think it only was at my theater one week or two weeks I didn't get the chance to see it and I was bummed because I really really wanted to see this movie and finally it came out on DVD and I rented it and I'm like man I know I think it's just that word of mouth it didn't hit it didn't he Disturbia was really really good and I'm a fan of the Paranormal Activity series I know he's only done I think the last four but I loved Marked Ones I, I think I'm the one person who thought Mark Twins was legit. But anyway, I think this guy, I think this is going to be a little a small bump in the road for him. And uh, I like that he's, I like his style. Let me know what you guys think. Did you hate this movie? Did you love it? What are some of the best parts in this film? Some of the best jump scares, if you're into jump scares, because there's, they're trying to be jump scares. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, the thing with the cop, I thought that was really well done. I liked it. But, um,. I don't know, the killer with the dumb pig mask thing. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, that's a pig mask. That looks cool. That's our school mascot. Stuff like that. It just it was so out of place. But let me know what you think. Don't let me, my my opinion, judge or change your judgment on it. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this movie. And other movies. If you have a recommendation for other movies, especially horror, leave me uh, comment and let me know what you think. I really do appreciate it. My cat is wanting my attention, so I'm going to go tend to her needs. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Please share. Click on an ad or commercial. Forward, forward, forward.